coach, your team played like the defending 5A state champs tonight. You proud of them? I am. I am. That was a great football team we played. We knew that. Um, our whole demeanor getting ready for the game was different. Kids were quiet. They knew they had to be ready to play. And uh, anytime you can beat a, a team like that, it's a great football team that we do. Absolutely. And, and talk about from last year playing a, a, a condensed schedule back in a real football season this year. Were the guys ready? Were they in shape? Ready to go for the season? That's been a struggle. We returned two on defense and two on offense. So you lose all those guys. And so they haven't played. Uh, you know, they didn't play hardly any in the nine game season, a lot of them. Right. And now they're starting. Right. So it's, it's a process every week that hopefully they're getting better. And it's, and with all that inexperience, you know, the ceiling's really high because if they can get better, um, we can be really good by game 10. That's right. This so. was actually a, a playoff atmosphere here. So really good for the younger guys to come out. Now, you all had a huge lead, 20 to 7. Freedom really couldn't get it going on offense. You were running away with it. Did you have to do a lot of coaching, or were you proud of how the guys were executing? Well, we definitely had a coach there at the end. But, <laughs> right. You know, when we got up, we had a chance to put them away, but they're a great football team. They're not going right. to let you put them away, you know? And, Absolutely. And I told them, I said, this is, you know, okay, we're up at 10 and a half. We got the ball. We've got to put points on the board or we're in trouble when we go out there and lay an egg the first series, lay an egg the second series, and then all of a sudden, this is a game, you know, so. All of a sudden, it was a game. Now talk a little bit, after halftime, your guys came out, had the same momentum going, and when you saw that score kind of coming closer and closer together, what did you say? I didn't say anything. You, you, <laughs> just, you just try not to get so tight with your play calls, you know, and, and try to stay with the game plan, you know, because a lot right. of times when games get tight and, they, and you had the lead and it gets tight, all your play calls start getting tight and everything tightens up. So we try to stay aggressive. It might not seem like that, but in our, a lot of our runs were adjustments. So um, we just couldn't couldn't get that one first down. We need there at the end. Yeah. Well, this was this was a great start. I mean, you're now three and zero on the season. How will you keep the guys humble? Uh, that won't be a problem. We got Colonial Forge. They're great. We got Broad Run coming up. I mean, you know. We, we, I think they have a hunger now to win it. They see what playoff football feels like. I mean, that felt like playoff football. That's why I sent them over there with the kids. So this, this is, this is what it's all about. You know, this yep, is exciting, nice, nice night. So that's right. Hopefully this gets it going. All right. 3-0 Stonebridge. They're moving on next week to their next opponent. We will be watching the defending 5A champs.